Let's bring in National Border Patrol Council Vice President Artel Cueto. Your reaction to the trip today, she visited the border where there's a border wall, fewer than half as many attempted illegal border crossings versus where Trump is going. What do you say to all of this? Look, it was, I think it was a knee-jerk reaction because they're hearing that President Trump is going to go down to the border. Uh, if you look at the numbers, they could have gone to Rio Grande Valley, where the numbers are the highest of apprehensions. They could have gone to Del Rio, where they're experiencing higher numbers than ever before. They could have gone out here to Tucson, where the number one area for gotaways is because of the drug cartels just south of us. But instead, they decided to do a dog and pony show at El Paso, check that box to say they went to the border in an area that is more contained than anywhere else. That's what it was, nothing but a dog and pony you know show. We, we hear you. You know, Mexico has five of the top ten most dangerous border towns and cities in the world due to violent crime and homicides. It's worse than the Middle East. And we've got, you know, border states are citing the rising costs imposed by the federal government. Um, so there's a constitutional fight here. Uh, sir, I'd like to get to this. Kamala Harris attacked uh, President Trump about hor horrible conditions at the border but laughed off going to the border when she's in a position of authority, you know, to stop things like human traffickers, you know, dropping children over border walls and children being th literally, this is graphic stuff, being thrown into the Rio Grande River. Those are factual stories Correct. that happen. And the assaults on migrants. Let, let's, let's listen to Kamala Harris here. Watch this. When we have children in cages crying for their mothers and fathers, don't you dare call that border security. That's a human rights abuse. And that's not our America. Uh, the point is to spotlight the human rights problems happening at the border. Can you explain that, human rights issues at the border right now? I mean, the point is you're, you're the vice president of the United States and you've been put in a position to take care of the issues that are happening at the border. That's plain and simple. There's uh, their rhetoric, their lack of policies. What it's done is it's emboldened the drug traffickers and it's, it's emboldened the human tra uh, traffickers. There's more individuals getting brought in here illegally as, as we speak. Uh, it, it's diverting uh, the agents that are working in some areas so the drugs can continue coming through. And, and all the while, I, I want to point something out. When you're looking at people that cross the border legally through the ports of entries, the ports of entries have now been closed for quite some time. So those people that cross legally and they actually come in and, you know, they help some of the economies in the border yeah. towns, they haven't been allowed to come in. Yet individuals that are breaking our laws and coming in illegally, they're getting released in the United States. What message is that sending? That message is sending that if you commit the crime, yeah. you get a, a, a free pass. Yet if you've been doing things legally, you're the one that has to wait in the back. It's honestly, it's just, yeah. it's, it's horrible what's happening at our, at our borders right now. We hear what you're saying. And, you know, four out of 10 women and children getting assaulted on the way. That's according to Border Patrol statistics. Thank you if they, if they try to cross illegally. Artel Quater, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. It's good to see you. Thank you.